Hey guys, welcome back to this episode. My name is Gloria and today we're going to be doing exercises for pregnant women in the third, third trimester. Like I said, you guys, in the previous video, exercising using the ball will help you position the baby in the uterus. You guys preparing for birth. Okay, so the first exercise that we're going to be doing today is you move your front back front back front back so you are stretching the muscles baby in preparation for childbirth you guys i know that there are people who have had long births like no long labor so in order for you to shorten your labor you need to do this and you do this 10 times so we're gonna do this 10 times let's count one two Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So as you are doing this, you can feel the pressure in your hips. You can feel the pressure right here. And you guys, um, it's very unfortunate that nobody tells you this, but uh, nobody tells you this. But I've realized that I think if you have noticed that white people they have like relaxed labors as compared to black people. I'm not being racist about this, but I'm just saying this is because nobody tells us you prepare for this. They say, um, the doula that I'm seeing, she's a white lady, she says, whenever you are sitting in the house, make sure that you sit with your VJ, sit with your VJ, don't sit on the sofa like this, lying like this, no, 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 it's not good, the baby's gonna move to the back, the baby must be lined, let's, so this is some sort of a will alignment, you guys, <laughs> but with baby alignment, align the baby in the uterus, you understand me, here, so, we're gonna do the next one, it's one up to ten, let's count, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 okay you guys can see that you're stretching let this be your lifestyle if, if you want to shorten your labor let it be your lifestyle so i bought this ball and i'm no longer sitting on the sofa each and every day and you guys i'm gonna come back and tell you one day that i, I had 45 minutes labor <laughs> no more long labors you guys no more long labors let's listen okay so you can get this ball you can get this ball at gammy's retails for less than 150 rand you can get it Join me. Tomorrow, join me as we do this. Let's do this each and every day so that you shorten your labor. Okay. So after this, um, we are going to be stretching. Okay. It becomes uncomfortable, especially with the pee also. So, we're going to be going in front of you guys. Okay. The thing is like, I've got bones which are a little bit harder. Eh? When it comes to being flexible, I'm not a very flexible person. But we're going to go one, two, Three, four, I don't know if the camera is focusing me. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Then so let this ball be your best friend, you guys. Okay, let's rest. You breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. You exhale, you inhale with your mouth and exhale with your nose. Let's go. You hold it. Again, 10 times. Okay, you guys, I'm just sharing the information that I was taught by my doula. I never thought a doula is important up until I realized that they've got information that we do not know. We just think you can just be pregnant, then tomorrow morning you go and deliver. But you need a birth class for this. You need to learn. How to breathe. Learn how to breathe. Exhale. Supposed to exhale through your nose, glory. Okay, let's it again. Alright. Okay, so now we're going to stretch again. We're going to do another stretch. Okay, so uh, uh, this is like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so this is how I'm supposed to stretch. I was bumping, but you're not supposed to bump. You just stretch 
Count up to ten. Let's go. Oh, okay. We'll hold here. Let's start again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Go to the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. So the next exercise, we're going to go off the ball. We're going to go off the ball. You're just going to, you need to relax. You guys, there's a need for relaxation. Okay, so on this one, we're just going to count up to 10 and I'll be breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out. Um, so this one, uh, I need to put the camera in my back or at least I can just... Sorry guys, if I may, I think you need to get out of here because you'll be seeing my bouncy. <laughs> ah, is Mika okay? to the 10 so you are breathing in and breathing out breathing in and breathing out okay 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 so the next exercise that we're gonna do is we're gonna put the ball so this ball is gonna be helping you to exercise understand me so and on this on the, in this case it's going to help you to it's going to help you to balance okay so, okay, so you're gonna balance then we'll go straight to the front one two three I think you can see what I'm doing. Let's go four. You're supposed to feel the pressure here. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Okay. So the next one. Hey, let me change the legs. They're not painful. Okay. The next exercise is. You go, you're going on right on your on your side. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so now we can rest. Um, you can rest. Then you guys, um, this bowl can just help you to rest even at home when you're just relaxed. Use it for resting. Okay, so you guys, um, this, these are just some of the exercises that you're supposed to do each and every day. But unfortunately, I, I, I can't do all of them because it's really getting hot. I was supposed to wake up early in the morning. Then the other exercise that you're supposed to is called a cat and a cow. But I've, I failed to do that one. It's called cat and cow. So you, you breathe in like a cat. Like you, you breathe in. And breathe out but i don't know how to do it i struggle to do this one <laughs> because my bones are not so flexible but this is how it's supposed to be done so you breathe in breathe out breathe in breathe out so when you learn how to breathe this is going to help you you guys the breathing is a very important technique when it comes to giving birth you need to learn how to breathe, not to just breathe. No, you need to control, take charge 
of everything. Take charge of the situation as we are preparing for this. You guys, all, all I'm saying is labor, labor, giving birth and labor process. Sort of easy process, but if you manage it, it's going to be easy. I've always said, I don't know why I've seen people calm and I see people of my color car crying, mm, like, bah! and the people of other races, they're calm and collected. It's because we are not taught these things. Remember, when you go to give birth without a doula, nobody's going to teach you how to do these things. You need to relax and know that each labor pain, each contraction is bringing you closer to your baby. Relax, stop fighting. I, I, I remember the other time when I, this is my third time giving birth. The other time, the reason why I took so long is because I was fighting with the contraction. Instead of relaxing, because it's the body that is trying to open up a way, understand me. Instead of relaxing, I'm fighting, my body is fighting. So, I'm trying to try to breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, so that the labor process is going to be long. So, you guys, thank you for watching this vlog. And I know it's Vlogmas, you guys. We're so excited to be doing Vlogmas together. And I hope I won't get tired. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. And see you in my next video. Bye-bye.